Excellent. What's up guys, welcome back to Paul's Hardware. Today is Monday, but it's also going to be inventory day for better or for worse, because this is my workspace and uh, further over to the right side, there is just piles of stuff. And I'm usually okay with a little pile of stuff, as long as I can see what's in the pile. But once the piles start piling on top of each other and I can't even see what's in the piles, that's when the piles need to be dealt with. So I'm gonna go through all that crap, I'm gonna categorize it and put it in piles. I don't know if that's self defeating or not, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna clear some space in the living room out there so I can separate everything and lay it all out so I can see what's there, what I should keep, what I'm going to get rid of, and what I'm gonna sort of just hang on to for long-term, you know, nostalgic purposes and that kind of thing. Honestly, what I really wanna do though is just clear the floor off so I can sweep it, because I have two dogs. It gets a little hairy sometimes. Isn't Hero cute? Yes he is. I'm getting distracted though. Alright, so everything has been kind of cleared out and moved out into my assessment area and I also wanted to point out real quick before I dive into the inventory list that yes, this project has taken me a couple days now, which wasn't the original plan, but that's kind of how it goes sometimes. More on that in just a minute. But I also wanted to say that uh, the hardware I'm going to be counting outside includes all of my loose hardware, so the stuff that's not currently in use. So it means it doesn't include stuff I have here for upcoming projects. Yes, that's an EK logo. Uh, doesn't include, well, those are just boxes of randomness or whatever. Doesn't include systems that I have set up and running, so like my test bed here. Uh, I've switched over to the $3,500 system here using in the corner for gaming when I, when I live stream and stuff. Of course, the live streaming system that's over there. Camera equipment is not included, but I do have a list, so let's go down that. Alright, so here it all is out in the dining room and I gotta get this stuff taken care of because I have promised Mrs. Paul Hardware that I will have it cleared up by the end of the day today. Actually, I promised her that yesterday too, but point being though, I've organized this very clearly into separate sections. So this section over here is for large items like cases, power supplies, CPU coolers, that sort of thing. Table over there is for smaller items such as CPUs, RAM, hard drives, optical disks. Uh, underneath, I have set aside a little bit of space for accessories and other miscellaneous stuff, although I didn't do the count on that one quite as much. And then finally over here, not to be confused with the, the, the dog food stuff, that's dog food over there. These, these are boxes and they're all empties, so there's nothing in any of these, but I do like to keep empty boxes because as you might have seen when I disassembled uh, a couple systems over the course of the last day or two, I got lots of old retail boxes that I had saved and I was able to repackage stuff in them. Let's run down the actual inventory here, starting with this big old pile of cases. I tried to keep this visible, but there's more tucked down there. There's two, there's two sets stacked and I have eight cases total, which isn't too bad, all things considered, although they do take up a fair amount of room, and only one of these is an ITX, the EVGA Hadron down there. Next up in this healthy pile right here, I have power supplies, only a few of them still in their boxes, many of them with their cables just splayed out on the floor like that. Only eight total power supplies, not too much to be said about those. And I guess I should also mention this pile, which is also power supply cables. Somehow I've ended up with way more of these than actual power supplies. Moving on here to motherboards, which are all stacked nicely. Yes, yes, that's an A-bit motherboard over there. Total, I have 24 motherboards that aren't in use, currently just in their retail boxes. 18 of them are ATX, uh, 3 of them are, are micro ATX, and 3 of them are mini ITX. And I did do a count, and 19 of these are Intel. Only five AMD, although I do have uh, the majority of the AMD sockets that have come out just recently. Moving on to CPU coolers, which I have way too many of. Uh, I want to point out here real quick, and this applies to the motherboards as well. Not all of these are 100% functional. Actually, that also applies to the video cards down here. Um, but most of them are, and I total have 25 CPU coolers. Six of these are stock air coolers like you get from Intel or AMD. 
14 of them are air coolers, uh, that includes the stock ones, including the ETS T40 as well, and like a Cooler Master Hyper 212. And then I have 10 uh, closed loops liquid coolers, but again, at least one or two of those aren't totally functional. And several of them have been used and like the pump wasn't totally working right or whatever, so I kind of feel bad getting rid of those, but that's a lot of CPU coolers. Here's my lineup of GPUs. Again, I have lots, and uh, I switched over to automatic settings on my camera also, by the way, because it's just too bright here. But I tried to organize these from like newest GPUs here going all the way down to oldest GPUs over there. But in total, I have 40 freaking graphics cards. Uh, that's what you're looking at right here. Uh, 12 of them are from AMD or ATI, so even including the older ATI versions like the All-in-Wonder down there. 28 of them are from NVIDIA, so go ahead and call me an NVIDIA fanboy or whatever. I don't know, that's just how it all fell out. Uh, and then we have nine reference designs, so like for instance the uh, NVIDIA reference designs that they've been sending me recently. Uh, and then we have 16 of what I would call current gen graphics card. So that includes uh, NVIDIA's 910 series as well as AMD's 300 and 400 series. So a pretty good amount of these cards are actually pretty recent, which is cool because those are the ones that I kind of need most for testing and comparison and that kind of thing. I kind of like the history uh, the history that you have going on here though. So like 980, 980 Ti down to the lesser cards in the 900 series, uh, 960 right here, 4 gig and 2 gig, 780, uh, seven, another 780, a 760, I do have a 770 in between there that's in use, uh, 670, 580, 570, 550 Ti, uh, 460, 460, 460, 460 GTX, I think that's a 460 GTX as well, uh, and all the way down to my, wow, my old GTX 260. Played a lot of World of Warcraft on that one. I also have an ATI all in wonder because it's good to have one of those. I also, I don't think I pointed this out, but five of these down here aren't even graphics cards. They're just graphics card coolers that I've removed and then water cooled the graphics card. Lastly here for the large items, got the VR, a Vive and an Oculus Rift. Although to be honest, the Vive isn't in the box, but I have both of those. Let's move on to the small but very valuable items, which are all laid out on the table here. Let's start with the big dogs over here though. Uh, CPUs all laid out here. I have a total of 20 CPUs in this little collection. Seven of them are AMD, 13 of them are from Intel, and I already did a video on my CPU collection, so I'll link that via a card if you guys want to check out a little bit more info. As for memory, wow, look at all that memory. You'd think I would remember things better with all of this memory, but I don't. I have a total of 64 actual memory DIMMs here, which I thought was kind of nice because of the power of two. Uh, a total of 164.25 gigabytes of memory if you add it all up together. Although again, down here, especially in the older stuff, uh, not all of it is 100% functional. Moving on up here to permanent storage, I have hard drives. Uh, they're all arrayed here. Um, the big hard drives are these, like my 4 terabyte drives, and those are 4 terabyte drives. Then I have like a WD Velociraptor and some older drives here. I think I still have some older hard drives kicking around somewhere. I couldn't locate them all. I, d I don't know where the rest of them are, but I feel like I had more than this at one point. Anyway, I counted a total of 22 hard drives. That includes the 3.5 inch and the 2.5 inch. Uh, 10 of them are 3.5 inch drives. 12 of them are 2.5 inch drives. For the 3.5 inch drives here, it's a total of 20,530.3 gigabytes, um, thanks mainly in part to the 4 terabyte drives. And then for the 2.5 inch drives over here, again, several of these do not work, so I'm sorry about that, but most of them that are newer do. It's a total of 12 2.5 inch drives though. There's a, an extra one hiding underneath that little guy right there, and that also includes these three external drives. Total of 1,766.5 gigabytes, so total mechanical drive storage, I'm up to 22.3 terabytes. SSDs are right over here. I have a total of 15 SSD drives arrayed in front of me right here. 14 of them are 2.5 inch drives for a total of 2,284 gigabytes. Uh, one of them is an M.2, that one right there. That's 256 gigabytes. So for total SSD storage here, I have 2,540 gigabytes or about 2.5 terabytes. And some last items, optical drives, of course. I have a total of five uh, arrayed in both DVD as well as a few Blu-ray drives in there. Two floppy drives, still hanging on to those if I, need to, if I ever need to copy my old Doom discs. And then I even have a couple uh, actual sound cards here, an old Outagey card from Sound Blaster, as well as an Asus Phoebus. Epilogue time. All right, it is Sunday now, so considering I started this project on Monday, it basically took me all week. Um, that's not to say I wasn't doing other things at the same time, 
but I'm happy to be able to say, look, a dining room table. It's clear and usable. Uh, I do have a few piles out here. I said I was going to be separating everything into piles, but these are all functional piles, I promise. For instance, that is the e-waste pile down there. I have some more of that in the garage too. This pile right here is the get rid of pile. So this is all going to be either giveaway, donation, or uh, possibly some sales going on as well. And I will determine all that stuff later, I promise. I do have some very good ideas, I think, for how to, uh, you know, deal with that stuff. This is all just big boxes, um, empty boxes. I have a lot of boxes to break down, but you might notice that the old empty retail boxes are not there anymore. This is also the dog area here. We're going to try to reconfigure this corner for the dogs and move those chairs and everything. Hero's enjoying a snack. What you eating there, Hero? Oh, it's good. It's a good, it's a good snack, isn't it? Moving on to the garage though, I'm very proud of all the progress and work done out here. Turning the lights on. Um, Alright, so first of all, you might notice most of these shelves are clear. I do have a couple just little displays going on. Uh, I do have some video cards up there. Basically, besides the Radeon uh, RX 480 and the, and the 970 there, all the rest of those are like dead cards um, that I... I don't know, I didn't want I didn't want to just toss in the recycling bin, so they're just up there on display. Here I got the test bed, projects I'm working on. I just set up this system uh, last night, and I didn't really record it, but uh, this is for a project that's coming up this week. Um, other than that, everything over here is pretty much normal and the same. Over here though, I got my CPU, storage devices, uh, and memory, and that's all good to go. Up here, you know, just did some arrangements of things. The stuff on the right though, uh, this is where the most work has been done. Notice the table is clean. I need to get a topper for this table. I think I'm going to cover it with something. Um, also over here though, nice and organized. We have a motherboards up top. Graphics cards are next. And yes, as a reviewer, I have to kind of keep way too many graphics cards on hand. Uh, this shelf is coolers and that shelf is power supplies. The three large boxes that you see over here, that one, that one, and that one, these are the two for the systems that I'm currently using and they have all the retail boxes for the parts of them inside and then that's all the rest of my retail boxes for stuff that's currently in use. I was originally going to use the M2 Pro instead of the 760T for this project that I have coming up this week but it was actually a little bit too small on the top. But um, anyway, other than that, a few more random items here, some foam insulation that I'm going to be putting in very soon. And then look, it's pretty much clear over here too. I've even taken all of my like car washing stuff and and like like chore stuff and put it over here on the right so it's separate from all like the tech stuff so this side of the garage is pretty much all tech stuff now anyway though guys this has been my inventory day video i hope you have enjoyed it uh, if you did hit the thumbs up button thanks for watching and we'll see you next time